Today, our God-given rights of sovereignty are being threatened by runaway political correctness and an overreaching and overbearing government regulation. That's right. The war on guns has gone nuclear. We must fight to win. Are you familiar with the AR-15? All right. This is the Freedom Festival. Show me your gun. Show me your toy. A two-day celebration of guns, God, and MAGA. A few years ago, we were all considered deplorables. Now they call us terrorists. I mean, next thing you know, they're being thrown acid on us. If you want to take our guns, come and take it from our cold, dead hands. So what are you open carrying today? Oh, this is an AR-15. Mm-hmm. The event was a who's who of right-wing provocateurs that played all the hits. It's an absolute disgrace what Hillary Clinton did to this country and sold out the good men and women. It's unbelievable. But this isn't your typical gun rights gathering. What's different about this one is its audience and the man behind it. A year and a half ago, I didn't know him. Now, apparently, I'm a Mooney. Shong Jin Nim Moon. Pastor Sean. My goodness. Please, please, folks. All glory to God. Thank you. Hyung Jin Sean Moon is the founder of the World Peace and Unification Sanctuary, better known as the Rod of Iron Ministries. If the right to keep and bear arms is a natural right, like our framer stated, then it is a human right, and all human beings should have the right of self-defense against tyranny. If he seems familiar, it's because his church made headlines last year when it held a ceremony like this one, shortly after the school shooting in Parkland. We're gathered here today to celebrate the cosmic true parents of heaven, earth, and humanity. We will ask everyone to take out your rod of iron. Today's ceremony is a blessing marriage where couples have been asked to attend with crowns and AR-15 rifles as religious accoutrements. To Pastor Sean, the rod of iron in the Book of Revelation is the AR-15, an instrument to be used by his followers to keep the peace in the kingdom of God. The rifle symbolizes just the general arts of self-defense. For us, that's the shepherd's role. The shepherd is a defender of the sheep is defender of those who cannot defend themselves. And so the shepherd must be armed and the shepherd must be trained. These teachings are only a few years old, but much of his following is far older. The Rod of Iron Ministries was born out of a much larger church started by his father, the late Reverend Sun Myung Moon. It's famous for its mass wedding ceremonies of followers who are matched by the church. These supporters became known as Moonies. Reverend Moon's death triggered a family power struggle for control of the church, now run by his widow. His youngest son, Pastor Sean, formed a breakaway congregation, and thousands followed him out the door. He's now helping his supporters acclimate to his new gun-centric faith. You want to do the rifle? Get yourself into position, then Wonderful. Next for the rifle. Switch it over to fire and let go when you're ready. You just shot your first gun. Uh, how does how does it feel? Feel very good. I feel like maybe in my mind it was built up, but it was pretty smooth. I mean, if you're not really like a gun person, I'm just wondering why, like, sort of, why it brings you out here. I don't know if you know, you're familiar with Reverend Moon's teachings, but there's that big uh, many couples getting married in Madison Square Garden, 1982. Mm -hmm. My parents were matched by Reverend Moon. It's a lot of love, you know. Mm -hmm. I think from the outside, maybe understand. Our church community has been celebrating for early October because my father was in a North Korean death camp in 1950. He was freed on October 14th. So we kind of celebrate it as a freedom day because we see our father as a returning Jesus. This year we, we did it more in terms of just generally celebrating freedom. Pastor Sean wants to appeal to Americans who may not be familiar with the Moonies. So if you were to describe the, the type of person who was at this festival, um, how would you describe them? Generally, a, a Christian conservative, um, you know, uh, uh, Second Amendment supporting. You know, our brothers and sisters, a lot of them came from different parts of the world. And so we have people that are not are associated with our uh, church at all uh, from different states like Tennessee, Missouri, the folks from New York, New Jersey, who, who feel the, um, the erosion of their of their, you know, Second Amendment rights. 
thank y'all for coming out and supporting us. I think our biggest thing for coming up in the next election is get your friends out to vote. We need to have a pro-gun president. We need to have a pro-gun Congress. Through the pro-gun, pro-MAGA messaging of the Freedom Festival, Moon has found a way to appeal to conservatives outside his flock. And he's found a sympathetic audience right here in Trump country. I think President Trump is doing many uh, powerful things. We think that, you know, God is using him to create the environment for, you know, God's kingdom to come, uh, taking on the, the, the deep state, the swamp, whatever you want to call it, the bureaucracy of the federal government. We will no longer stay silent and we will no longer sit around in, uh, in the safety of our homes. Can I get your name in? I don't know much about the Moonies, but it's brought out a lot of local groups, Gunners of America, Second Amendment Foundation, stuff like that. So more run-of-the-mill, like, typical Second Amendment supporters. This is just great. It's, it's a festival, and it was right in our backyard. How could we miss it? It's like 20 or 30 years ago, someone had said to you that you were going to be spending a weekend at a Mooney event. What would you have thought? Honestly, I don't know what I would have done, but I will tell you, as 30 years ago, there was not an assault on our constitutional rights in the same fashion as the assault upon them today. That's what's, to me, what's so special about this event. It's about the Second Amendment, but it's people who cherish it. Do you think the cultures merged together well? I think everybody had a, had a great time. We got a lot of folks that walked up to us yesterday and said, hey, thanks for putting on the event, it was wonderful. You know, it's, it's, it's rare that the Second Amendment community and conservative Christian community can come together. On the last day of the festival, Pastor Moon pulled longtime followers aside, many of whom had traveled thousands of miles to be there. The gathering was equal part sermon and reassurance for the hundreds trying to make sense of a new philosophy. Wow. 